Hi, I want to welcome everyone to the Museum of Television and Radio. My name is David Bushman and I'm television curator here. Uh, Strangers with Candy ran for three seasons on Comedy Central and was the network's first original non-skit series, live action. This extraordinarily bold and innovative show dubbed the unholy spawn of Get a Life and My So-Called Life by salon media critic Joyce Millman was a breath of fresh air subverting almost every conceivable television convention with characters who were unapologetically insensitive, politically incorrect, self-absorbed, and devoted to immediate, immediate gratification rather than the deeper moral consequences. Strangers with Candy was a brilliant and wicked satire of television that promises easy answers and pat solutions to life's complex challenges. The show was hailed by critics nationwide, and I don't have to tell everyone here tonight, developed an intensely passionate legion of followers who still mourn its untimely passing. All of this is why we're very pleased here at the museum tonight to celebrate the show and to pay tribute to the cast and creative team, not only for all the laughter they gave us, but also for their contribution to television lore. Our first panelist was an independent writer, producer, and director before working on Michael Moore's TV Nation as a senior producer. He went on to spend four years as head of East Coast Development at Comedy Central, where he executive produced several shows, including The Upright Citizens Brigade and Strangers with Candy. Please welcome Kent Alterman. Our next panelist portrayed Flatpoint High principal Onyx Blackman, a role written specifically for him by the creators of Strangers with Candy, including our uh, final three panelists, all of whom he met while performing with Chicago's Second City Main Stage troupe. He also wrote and performed in the two-man play Revelations, Indictments, and Confessions, and appeared in the film Time Served. Please welcome Greg Holloman. Our next panelist was a creator, co-producer, and writer on Strangers with Candy, and also starred as Flatpoint's counter-inspirational history teacher, Chuck Noblet. After moving to New York, he co-developed Exit 57, and also worked as a writer and cast member on The Dana Carvey Show. He's appeared on Spin City and written for Saturday Night Live, and is well known to Comedy Central viewers as a correspondent on the now Peabody-winning program, The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Please welcome Stephen Colbert. Our next panelist was a creator and writer on Strangers with Candy and also performed in the series as the genteel, self-absorbed art teacher, Jeffrey Jelinek. After moving to New York from Chicago, he co-developed Exit 57. He's appeared in several films and television programs and appears frequently on New York stage, most notably in Stitches. Please welcome Paul Dinello. Our next panelist was raised in North Carolina and moved to Chicago to pursue, pursue a comedy career at Second City. She's written for Exit 57 with Stephen and Paul and has written and produced numerous plays with her brother David, including the Obie Award-winning One Woman Shoe and the current critically acclaimed The Book of Liz, which has been extended due to popular demand. She was a creator and writer on Strangers with Candy and starred at the, as the incomparable Jerry Blank a 46-year-old ex-boozer, user, and loser who returns to Flat Point High School as the world's oldest freshman after 32 years from home, living a very colorful life. Please welcome Amy Sedaris.
They invited a lot of seats. Okay, we're going to ask a few questions, and then we're going to go to the audience, and then we'll go to the pilot. But uh, can you talk about how this program got started, what the origins of it were, and what you were trying to accomplish with the show? Uh, goes for the creators, I guess. Well, <laughs> as the co-producer, um, we had, uh, I don't know, we'd done X57 together. We'd worked at Second City together, and we'd worked together for years, and done X57, and then when that got canceled, we wanted to work together again, and Amy had always wanted to do... else that would get canceled. Exactly. <laughs> Amy wanted, always wanted to do an after-school special, and, but there wasn't much more uh, That's too old. to that yet. And she always wanted to do an after-school special as a show. And so when she went to Comedy Central to pitch it, she said, would you help us? And that was it. There, end of story. <laughs> Paul, and, no, Paul, and then we, Paul and we found, found this other the, video. Yeah, from, it was made in the late 60s. That it was about a... Um, <laughs> it was called The Trip Back. It's a little Severia. Uh -huh. uh, trip Back, um, yeah, about, about a, like a 50-year-old woman who uh, um, was a junkie and like she was from Long Island and became a prostitute and a junkie, and then she was on the road to recovery, and she'd go to high schools and talk. And the woman reminded me of Amy. 